guess that then, then one woman's art is another woman's pornography. I'm thinking of the Express Yourself video. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are images of you chained. There are yes, images of you I'm crawling under a table. And there are a yes, lot of people yes. who are upset by that. Okay, I'm chained myself, though, okay? No, there wasn't a man that put that chain on me. I did it myself. I was chained to my desires. I crawled under my own table. You know, there wasn't a man standing there making me do it. I do everything by my own volition. I'm in charge, okay? Degradation or, is, is when somebody else is making you do something against your wishes. So, uh, Do you subscribe to the theory that everybody is born bisexual, or do you think that sexuality is something that's that's learned I don't have the answer to that I'm um, in the dark there I have another one on that but same. I think whatever it is you know that we should always that we should embrace it and and never make ourselves or other people feel ashamed whatever it is it seems like you're sort of trying to break all the taboos in life mm -hmm. and um, where does all the power come from what are you challenging on that you just said it. I'm yes. challenging the taboos, mm -hmm. people's sexual taboos. Mm -hmm. I mean, beginning with the, your songs and all the videos and everything, mm -hmm. um, it seems like you're sort of angry against something. Yeah, that w that's part of it. Mm -hmm. Anger fuels a lot of what I do. I'm angry about the sexism in this world. I'm angry about mm -hmm. racism. I'm angry about homophobia. I'm, I'm angry about the injustices of life. And mm -hmm. so I write about them. Mm -hmm. You know, if we're going to have censorship, let's not be hypocrites about this. Not, let's not have double standards, you know. I mean, why is it okay for 10-year-olds to see, you know, some, someone's body being ripped to shreds or, or Sam Kinison spitting on Jessica Hahn? Why are we going to deal with these issues? Why is that okay? Why do parents not have a problem with that? And, but why do they have a problem with two adults, you know, two consenting adults displaying affection for each other regardless of their sex? What did you want to get across then? With what? With the, with the book. With what did you want to get across? Because it's obviously been clouded, isn't it? It's been... Just basically that it's all right to have sexual fantasies, that it's all right to play, to play with them, to talk about them, that it's all right, that there's nothing wrong with you if you're attracted to darker things, that, that you know... And, and also to have a sense of humor about it, because most of the writing in the book is very tongue-in-cheek and meant to be taken that way and it, actually to take the wind out of like the dark naughty nature of, of sexuality and and to make fun of how society like pushes it in a closet and makes everyone feel a sense of shame about it so and the fact that everyone reacted that way with a sense of shame was precisely the point that I was trying to make you know about society and how we need to change oh, okay. in the movie there are so many homosexual men and some, I don't know, I don't know, this, or maybe lesbians. But in Japan, it's not really, we are not really open to this to, to this subject. To, to, to homosexuality? Oh, we kind of hide to it. That's too bad. Why? <laughs> why? Well, well, not why, but um, do you, uh, if, well, I saw in this film two guys kissing, French kissing. Yeah. And if you are in that place, in that situation, would you do it with a, with a girl? Of course. If someone dared me to kiss a girl and I was playing Truth or Dare, I would kiss her, yes. Yes? Yes. Yeah. But listen, listen, don't think that there aren't plenty of boys kissing each other in Japan. I hope you don't think that. No, no, no. no or no, girls no. for that matter. I mean, you, know, you really push the envelope then, though. I mean, like, I mean, when you look back at it, you. I mean, or do you just... That's what I'm here for. Push the envelope. <laughs>